Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I begin my journey into this, the Flex Control Panel. The amazing new NDI control panel which can connect to multiple TriCasters and has a lot of amazing features. And today, we will be taking a look at accessing the administrator panel of the control panel which allows you to make quick changes to the system to better help produce your show. So, let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, so we're going to start off on the flex control panel itself. Here it is in all of its glory, looking awesome. So in order to access the administrator panel of the flex control panel, we'll need to find the IP address of this device that we can type into any web browser and be able to access the administrator panel to make any changes, do some customizations, uh, modifications, etc. So first things first, let's find the IP address and we can do that by zooming in over here. And we'll need to hold down the buttons Shift, Alt, and Bank. And when we do that, over here on the left, underneath 1, 2, and 3, you'll see the IP address 10.28.3.125, something to take note of. And now we can type this into any web browser and we can make any of our modifications and changes. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to switch back over to the TriCaster here real quick. And we can open up a web browser directly from the TriCaster interface by going to the top right of the screen and clicking on the notifications window and then you'll see here there's an option for bringing up a web browser let's go ahead and click on that all right and that'll bring up a web browser for us and now all we have to do is simply type in the IP address that we noted from earlier so 1028.3.125 go ahead and do that now it'll ask you to sign in and when you initially set up your flex control panel, it will uh, prompt you to bring in a use, uh, to type in a username and password if you're choosing. Uh, I already have mine set up, so I'll hit sign in. And now we are in the administrator panel of the flex control panel. So let's go ahead and start off over on the right side here for the administration. And this is just some housekeeping uh, work that you can do within the flex control panel. Uh, one is you can rename your flex uh, control panel from here. Uh, also, determine if you want to turn on your discovery server to use this. We have different uh, modes for uh, receive. Uh, also, if you're using, like, say, a static IP, if you're using a certain specific network, uh, you can set uh, all that up from here as well. So you can go from automatic to manually and type all that in, which I will not do today. Uh, and then underneath that, we have an option for changing the password on your device, also setting up the date and time, and then also the firmware that uh, when we get updates from newtech.com slash downloads, you can download and uh, install them directly from a web browser here, uh, directly onto the flex control panel itself. All right, so now let's move over to the interesting part, which is the mapping. So uh, first thing I want to mention here is uh, you'll see that there's an option for please select a product to map or modify or to modify. If I click this drop down, you'll see that this works uh, with uh, a bunch of different uh, TriCasters that we have in our arsenal. So, uh, for example, I'm on the TC2 Elite right now, and I have four different banks here. But if I go over to, say, the Mini X option, you'll see that that gets down to uh, just two banks because that has uh, a, a less number of uh, inputs coming into that system. And same thing on the TriCaster 1. I go up to three banks. But let's go back to TriCast 2 Elite because now I have four banks to work with. Okay, so uh, on my particular show, uh, what I want to do is I want to remap um, my inputs uh, 5 and 6 and bring those over here to inputs 1 and 2 so I can just switch to them really easy. Okay, now you can modify this as much as you want. I'm just going to keep it simple for today's uh, demonstration. So to do that, underneath uh, bank number 1, since I have my inputs 1 and 2 there, I will select input source on the right side and instead of one and two let's select five for number number one and then for number two we'll put input six okay now once I've done that uh, what I need to do is now apply uh, these settings to the flex control panel so I'll just click on apply and save here at the bottom all right and it just gives me a few seconds to reconfigure but now if you go back over to the flex control panel you'll see now over here on my inputs that were one and two let me go zoom into that so you can see it 
those now say 5 and 6 on the screen above it. Okay, so now I can switch these directly from here. So instead of being at number 1, I can go to number 6, and that changes accordingly on my interface. Now keep in mind, when I did that, uh, I did not change what the 6 and uh, 5 were over here as well. So those are going to be moving in tandem with each other. Now you can move these around however you want, but that was just, uh, I put that here to visually illustrate that that is actually switching 5 and 6 directly from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom back out and go back over to the TriCaster interface. So now if I wanted to, I can say export this mapping uh, to use uh, in a different uh, TriCaster uh, uh, Flex control panel. So I can sit, uh, click export map here and that will give me that option to export that. And if I'm on another Flex control panel, I can say import the map that I had just exported, etc. Okay? Uh, but for now, what I want to do is just reset all of this to defaults so it goes back to normal. So I'll click reset, restore defaults. All right, and now I have to make sure that I hit apply and save. It'll do that. And now if we go back to the TriCaster control panel, now you'll see that everything is back to normal. So now I have inputs one, two, three, and four set up there as I need to be. So a lot of cool things you can do with this. You can customize this to your heart's content. I highly recommend playing around with this. And of course, have some fun. So as you can see, the flex control panel is, dare I say, very flexible. And I'm just scratching the surface with all of its features, so stay tuned, there will be more to come. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for more information on the flex control panel and all of New Tech's products and services, contact your local New Tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And for formalized new tech product training, I highly recommend checking out New Tech University, which you can find more information about at newtech.com slash newtech u. And if you're posting your work with new tech products and services on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're working on, and you may see me lurking in your likes and comments. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.